And is not doing well. May I say she is not. She is not doing well. Oprah Winfrey fought back tears on the Today Show, talking about the backlash surrounding her best friend, Gail King. Obviously, all things pass. She will be okay, but um, she what hasn't slept in two days. Let me get you up to speed. On Tuesday's CBS This Morning aired Gail's interview with former WNBA star Lisa Leslie. In the wide-ranging interview, Gail asked Kobe Bryant's longtime friend about his tragic death in January. He will be missed, but he will not be forgotten, that's for sure. Gail also asked about his 2003 rape charge and subsequent criminal case. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. The network later posted a clip of that specific moment and people got mad. Even Snoop Dogg took to social media with an explicit message for Gail. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why y'all attacking us? We your people. On Thursday, Gail responded to the backlash on Instagram. If I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. And she shared her side of the story. Unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview. Um, totally taken out of context, and when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. So I've been told, or I've been advised, to say nothing. But that's not good enough for me. I reached out to Lisa, because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's, to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide-ranging interview, talked about many things. And yes, we talked about that court case, because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought, where that should stand. When Kobe was 24, he was charged with one count of felony assault after a then 19-year-old woman went to the police claiming he'd sexually assaulted her in his Colorado hotel room back in 2003. The case was dropped in 2004 after the accuser declined to testify. The same woman also filed a civil lawsuit which was settled out of court in 2005. In a statement to ET, a spokesperson for CBS News explained, quote, Gail conducted a thoughtful, wide-ranging interview with Lisa Leslie about the legacy of Kobe Bryant. An excerpt was posted that did not reflect the nature and tone of the full interview. We are addressing the internal process that led to this, and changes have already been made. She's not, she's not doing well and feels that um, she was put in a really terrible position. Enter Oprah. In the context of the interview, Everyone seemed fine, including Lisa Leslie. Mm -hmm. And it was only because somebody at the network uh, put up that clip. Mm -hmm. and, that, and, and I can see how people would obviously be very upset mm -hmm. if you thought that Gail was just trying to press to get uh, you know, an answer from Lisa Leslie. But um, she, 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 obviously, all things pass. She will be OK but um, she what hasn't slept in two the days. Case? The media mogul opened up about the whole ordeal and got emotional. I think the last 24 hours for your best friend have been pretty difficult after that interview oh. with Lisa Leslie about Kobe. And I just wondered just how she's doing. She and is what's... not doing well. May I say she is not? She is not doing well because she has now death threats and has to now travel with security. And um, she's feeling very much attacked. You know, Bill Cosby is, is texting from, is, is, is tweeting. tweeting from jail. Tweeting. tweeting from jail. Yeah, you heard that right. Bill Cosby is writing from jail, thanking Snoop for calling out Gail. I think anybody can criticize anything, but the misogynist vitriol 
and the attacking to the point where it is dangerous to be in the streets alone, because it's not just the people who are attacking, it's the other people who take that message and feel yeah. like they can do whatever they want to because of it. Now, Oprah says she's just standing by her friend. You know, I was on the phone with her this morning. I was on the phone with her last night. I was on the phone with her the night be before. I think you, you stand in the gap. You try to be there for your friends, but uh, it's, this is very hard because when you have social media mm -hmm. and the force of social media, and particularly people who didn't see either interview mm -hmm. um, making attacks, and I think everybody has the right to have their opinion, mm -hmm. but to do it with such vitriol hate. is hate and meanness. Get you a bestie like Oprah. Of course, you can count on ET to bring you all the latest on this story and more, so make sure to keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens. See you soon.